Hey guys, it's Brent here from BrentMailPhotography.com. I'm about to go on a photo shoot. The sun's setting down here on the beach, down the road from us. Um, I'm sitting on my balcony where we live, having a look at this beautiful sunset. I've got a strong breeze coming offshore down this road. I, I know it's a really good breeze because I've just come back from kiteboarding, which is really good. And I, I want to go down and, and get some great sunset images. So always when I go on a shoot, I first um, try to conceptualize what kind of images I want from this photo shoot. Now, because there's some big waves there and there'll be surfers down there, I want to get the surfers on the waves with the wind blowing offshore and the uh, spray from the wave going off the back of the wave and shooting right into the sun. So to get those kind of images, I probably need a wide angle lens. So I've got my 17 millimeter with my professional uh, SLR camera over here. It's a wide angle lens to get the, the beautiful sunset and the beautiful landscape. But I also want to get some detailed images. I want to get close to the surface. I want to zoom in, maybe even have the sun fill the screen. So what I'm going to take is a a zoom lens, it's a 100 to 400 millimeter zoom lens. So at 400 millimeters, this is a great lens for shooting surfers, shooting action, but it's also great for shooting a sunset if you want to get the sun over the water and the spray from the waves it, kind of in front of the sun. It's, it's, they're, they're going to be beautiful shots, I know it. So what I do is I conceptualize what I'm going to take, or the kind of images I'm going to uh, I want to create. I then take the right equipment to create those images and then I just hope for the best and also choose the best location for what I've got and what I've preconceived in my mind. And obviously I've got to finish my uh, Australian Shiraz first which is really good and I might even take a, a point and shoot camera so that I can do another travel series video on how to gra get great images with a simple point and shoot camera. And there are a couple of little secrets that go with that. Anyway I thought I'd share this with you the, 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 what, I, what goes through my head just before I go on a photo shoot, uh, kind of planning to be successful on this photo shoot. So stick around and I'll show you the, the great images that I hope to get um, down on Bariby Beach that's down the road from me over here with the surfers, the big waves, the offshore breeze and a long lens and a wide angle lens. Just photographed this beautiful sunset behind me. I've used my longer lens. I didn't even have time to put on my wide angle lens. I've used my telephoto lens, a 400 millimeter zoom lens to capture the sun setting, the, 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 the beautiful red ball of sun going down with the waves breaking in front of it and the spray going off behind. Me. So I guess um, what you can learn from this lesson is uh, preconceive what you want to go out and photograph Get, take the right equipment with you and get down there and you won't be wasting time looking for things or not knowing what you're doing. You go straight to what you want to get, go get it and then go home. Do you like this YouTube video? Do you like the free photography tips that I'm giving? If you do, please give me a thumbs up below. Comment on this video. I always reply to comments and the more comments, the more I want to make more videos for you guys. So. Uh, anyway, this is Brent and uh, have a great day.